Hi, my name is Emily Medill. I'm here with what I call my weekly happiness video where I read aloud my weekly featured article. This week's article is one that I wrote back in 2018, but it still feels timely today. It's called Five Daily Steps to Allow the Magic of Your Life to Naturally Unfold. Would you choose to struggle if you knew you could experience peace? Would you rather micromanage the many moving parts in your day or let go and let the chips fall where they may? There are countless ways to do life. There isn't a right way or a wrong way. There is only the way you choose. We are all interconnected and yet each of us is on a solo journey. We can move with our journey or we can push against it. The choice is ours. Here are the five daily steps that help me allow the magic of my life to naturally unfold. Give them a try if they feel like a right fit to you. Step number one, start each day with a blank slate. Each day we are alive in the world is a new gift, unlike any previous one we've received. Think of your day like it's a piece of delicious handcrafted chocolate wrapped in beautiful gold foil. Will you savor your tasty treat and allow it to slowly melt in your mouth? Or are you more apt to put it in a cupboard with the thought you'll enjoy it at some future time? Perhaps you will hurriedly stuff the treasure in the bottom of your bag only to realize later it has been flattened from the heavy load you carry around. Maybe you follow the school of thought that your yummy gift is bad or it will make you sick or worse, that it doesn't taste good. Our life is a delectable treat and each day we have the opportunity to savor it in a new way. The choice is ours. The important thing to remind ourselves is that it doesn't matter how we choose to experience, or sorry, how we chose to experience our gift yesterday. What matters is how we choose to consume the moments we are in. When we decide to approach each day as a blank slate, we give ourselves the gift of taking life in right now. With a blank slate comes new momentum we can use to point ourselves in a direction that feels good now. Step number two, stay connected to how you feel. Our feelings are like a built-in superpower. We can use our feelings as our guide. When we feel good, we are on our best path. When we don't feel good, it's our cue to check in with our inner wisdom. Ask yourself, what do I want here? How do I most want to feel? What is one small step I can take right now that will bring me closer to my desired feeling? The trick is to not get all caught up in our thoughts and stories about our feelings. It's much more effective to allow our feelings to be felt in our body and get quiet enough for our truth to come to the surface. If you ask yourself important questions and practice listening, your inner guide will give you the answers that ring true for you. The problem so many of us face is that we don't trust our inner voice and guide amidst the noisy, opinionated world around us. We can get swept up in the sea of noise and forget that our inner GPS will always help us get back on the path that feels best for us. We do ourselves a service when we get into the habit of staying connected to how we feel. When we have our finger on the pulse of our feelings, we begin to notice how all of our feelings give us clues as to where we stand in the moment. When we are well practiced at using our feelings as a guide, we can feel our way through how we most want to move with the day before us. That is when life's magic comes into our view. Step number three, be 100% accountable. When we believe life is happening to us, it's, hard, it's a harder sell to feel empowered and embrace where we are. But when we choose to be 100% accountable for how we process and experience life, the fog lifts and our clear path becomes easier to detect. Being 100% accountable for our personal happiness doesn't mean we won't have hard times in life. Being accountable means we understand we can move towards a better feeling way of life, even if that means one teeny tiny step at a time. Nobody can make us choose how we experience life before us. It's up to us to decide on a moment to moment basis. The best part of being 100% accountable is that you are no longer at the mercy of others. You get to throw away all those high expectations you have for others to fulfill your happiness. Instead, you get to pursue your own sense of okayness and bliss each and every day. Step number four, don't take anything personally. Deciding to not take anything personally is easier said than done. If it feels like too big of a stretch, aim to sweat the small stuff less. Here's the thing, we are social beings and it's normal to want to be seen and accepted by our peers. But when we make the choice to see and accept ourselves first, 
we feed ourselves from within. Giving ourselves the gift of self-love and acceptance removes the unnecessary pressure and stress from others to fulfill us. Remember, each of us is busy sorting through our own personal life journey. If we stopped expecting others to fulfill us, define us, accept us, and unconditionally love us, life would become much easier. At the very least, it makes sense to stop allowing the voices of others to define who we are or who we are not. If you're ready to not take anything personally, get to know yourself, love yourself, and accept yourself in all of your messy human form. When you understand who you are and you like who you are, it doesn't really matter what other people think. Everyone has their own perception and it's an indication of where they are on their individual journey. It's not personal. When we release the need to prove ourselves to each other, we open up the gateway to allow the magic of our lives to naturally unfold. And finally, step number five, let love help you see. If all else fails, let love help you see. Everything looks and feels better through the eyes of love. I've shared it before and I'll share it again. Here's a poem I wrote about seeing through the eyes of humanity and love. When we view any situation through love, we free ourselves from the dark. The choice is always ours. Perhaps a timely reminder. What would love do here? What would love do? How might love transform our view? We don't have to get caught in the noise to search, judge, and prove. We aren't in the dark. All we need, we choose. Fear, confusion, and growing uncertainty add fuel to the wildfire, but this way of life needn't be. When what we desire is peace, love, and light, we must simply connect inward, stand still, and be clear, then ask the important question, what would love do here? Love is forgiving and love is kind. Love changes everything we see, feel, and find. When you want darkness to pass and space to feel free, just ask the question and let love help you see. Every day is a new journey and opportunity to allow the magic of your life to naturally unfold. Simply reset, trust your feelings, and above all else, be kind and gentle with yourself. So that is our featured article this week, five daily steps to allow the magic of your life to naturally unfold. And I will include a link to the article below this video. And I'll also include a link to my weekly happiness note that I send out every Thursday morning that includes um, this featured article and video as well as some other tips and strategies and fun stuff. So that's a free note I send out and I will include a link if you aren't already subscribed to that as well as the article. I hope that something here has helped you um, just trust in yourself and know that um, you are resourceful and to trust in um, your own inner wise guide and just really um, above all else just know that um, having the courage to just be who you are and to um, do that unapologetically and to love who you are is actually um, a huge service to humanity and to everyone around you um, because you aren't out there um, expecting everyone else to fulfill it for you. Um, so I know that's been really helpful in my own life to just come back to that reminder and um, just to trust in my own inner wise guide more. Um, so I hope this is helpful and I hope that you have a great week and I look forward to connecting again soon. Thank you.